everybody, Iron Fury here, and I just kind of want to take a time now to talk to you guys. So, as you know, last week was my birthday, the 14th, and for my birthday, I got Pokemon Black for the Nintendo DS, and I just beat the game yesterday, or the main game anyway, so I figure I may as well take the time to kind of give you a first impressions, even though I did write a sort of first impressions of it. When I wrote that on Facebook, which, by the way, if you haven't joined my Facebook group yet, I will give you a link. But, uh, when I wrote that, I only just got my third badge at the time. So, now that I've beaten the main game, I think I can give you guys, uh, a better analysis of the game, if you will, for a first impression, a full first impressions. So, yeah, what's there to say about the game? Um, the game definitely offers a lot. And I definitely say it's worth a purchase. It offers a lot as far as just little things that are greatly improved, as well as just the visual aspect of it is greatly improved. I may as well start with that. Uh, graphically speaking, the game presents itself a lot better. It's no longer just a standard top-down, all-the-time kind of thing. They do a lot of really nice camera shots. And, uh, just a lot of things are definitely improved as far as the actual in-battle is a lot better. The sprites actually move and they flow. It's not like it was in the previous games where they kind of move, you know, where it's like they do a little pose and they're just still. No, this time they actually do move and the sprites flow. It doesn't look really uh, choppy or or anything like that. It actually looks nice. Also, the camera during the actual battle shows an over-the-shoulder shot of your Pokemon, but you actually see, like, the full body. It's not just, like, from the shoulders up, as it used to be. And, uh... Also, when you're not doing anything, the camera will actually pan around the battle so you can see, like, a full perspective of everything. It looks nice! It really does. Uh, what else can I say about the graphics? As far as outside of battle, you get a really uh, nice variety of really good camera shots that show off how immense some of the areas are in the game. Like, for example, as I was on my way to the city with the third badge, you had to go across this big bridge. It was almost like a highway. And while you're going across this highway, you get these camera shots, they're panning out, and your and your sprite is getting smaller, and you see exactly just how big it is. You get a lot of different camera angles, and just some really nice camera work in this game. Not to mention, once you get into the city itself, if you recall in, for example, my playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red, Saffron City is supposed to be a big city. But it really doesn't give off that impression, just just based on the limitations of the of the system. But in in this game, it you actually feel like you're in a big city. There's side streets, there's alleys, there's massive skyscrapers, and they show the camera from a side perspective, so you actually get the feeling like these buildings are immense, and it's it's nicely done. The music in the game is great, too. In fact, for that one city I was telling you about, there's a really nice jazzy tune. And I'm probably going to have some kind of music playing in the background. I haven't quite decided yet. But I probably will. Just some really good tunes from the game that I happen to like. Uh, what else can I say? Oh! I may as well talk about the, uh, the Pokémon themselves. The Pokémon themselves are actually nice. I like them. They, some of them look really cool. I'm sorry. A lot of people complained about before the game came out about the starters and how they thought they were oh my god they're they're absolute shit. I disagree. The starters are actually pretty cool. Uh, the starter I chose for my particular run of the game was Tepig, the fire Pokemon. And uh, I gotta say, early on in the game, they actually give you a nice variety of moves you can learn from the Pokemon you catch, and they give you some decent Pokemon off the bat. Uh, throughout most of the game, I only had five Pokemon in my party, and it wasn't until 
when I got my seventh badge that I got my final member of my team. And before then, my team was pretty consistent in winning. Just to give you an example, though, of some of the moves that you can learn early on, I caught a Muna. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I'm going to assume it is, but it's spelled M-U-N-N-A. It's a psychic Pokemon, and one of the first moves it learned was Psybeam, which it was kicking the shit out of trainers left and right. I didn't evolve it until level 37 with a Moonstone, because that time it learned Psychic. But throughout most of the time that I had it, it was a pretty good member of my team, and to just because of the fact that I got it so early on was kind of, no, well, kind of something, but <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of rambling here. And uh, some of the little minor gameplay changes that they made that were definitely greatly improving the games overall, which that makes no sense, but whatever, I'm kind of rambling here. But uh, one of the improvements are just the way some of the items are handled. They finally, finally made it so the TMs are reusable. You no longer have to worry about wasting a TM on a Pokemon, which I hated that about the previous games. Because sometimes, you get a really good TM, but you can't get it again if you use it. So you gotta think really hard about which Pokemon you're gonna use it on. And sometimes, you know, you think you use it good on a Pokemon, but then another Pokemon comes along that's just better, and you could've used that move on. But now, TMs are infinite, you can use them as many times as you want, so you don't have to worry about throwing them away or anything like that, or wasting them. I definitely like that about this game. It's definitely an improvement. HMs still work the same, though. So, uh... You got, you know, your HM move, and it's infinite and all that shit. But you still have to go to a move deleter to get rid of the move. So, but at least they fixed the TM situation. That's a big improvement. Another big improvement, which, even though it's kind of minor, is uh, registering key items is definitely improved. You can now register multiple items. So when you, I guess in this case, you know, in, in uh, Fire Red, for example, you would press select, and uh, most people just have the bike there because it's just convenient. But in the uh, DS games, you would use the Y button. And, uh, for example, in this game, when you press the Y button, and you have multiple items selected, a little box will come up, and it'll, and it'll ask you which item you want to use, the bicycle, the super rod, etc. So, that's also an improvement. I definitely like that feature. And I hope that they use it again in new games to come, which I'm sure they will with the release of the 3DS. I'm sure they're going to have new Pokemon games specifically designed for it. But, uh, yeah. What else can I talk about in this game? Uh, I, I guess I can kind of talk about the story now, even though I, I'm going to try to remain as spoiler-free as possible. The, um, story is pretty good. I like the fact that even though there's still the basic get eight badges, beat the Pokemon League, stop the bad guys, they've definitely not made that so much the main focus, and they've actually incorporated the gyms into the story, the overall story, so that it's not just so cut and dry. The bad guys are definitely a lot more interesting this time around. You know, I don't want to give away too much, but I just like the fact that the bad guys actually play a much bigger role in this game than they did in the previous games. They weren't just kind of a side factor. And, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't want to dwell too much into it because I think that's giving away too much, even if people have already played the games already, but still, for those of you who haven't, I don't want to spoil it for you. All I'll say is, though, that you definitely get a really good ending, and you, uh, just a lot of cool shit happens. Uh, I guess I can talk about the Elite Four now. I'm not going to give away too much about them, but what I will say is that the Elite Four is definitely improved. When you go to the Pokemon League, which, by the way, Victory Road, not as bad as previous games. It's definitely an easier Victory Road. But, when you get to the Elite Four, you are put in this room, and they have four doors. So you can choose which order you want to face the Elite Four in. And, of course, the Elite Four all cater to certain types, so if you know how exactly you want to go about things, 
you have that option. It's not like before where it was straight up, you face this guy first, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy, then the champion. It's not like that. And I definitely like that a lot better because it gives you a better way to strategize beforehand. And they even tell you right away what trader carries what. So it's definitely better for strategizing, although some people would probably argue that it just makes it too easy. But yeah. And so I beat the Elite Four. And I'm not going to say anything further than that because let's just say the ending is good. It, it, it's not what you think it is. So, yeah. So, I'm in the after game now. And you get some new areas in the after game. And I'm going to say this right now. Make sure that you're trained. Because if you're not trained, then you're in for a surprise. I will say, when I beat the Elite Four, my Pokemon, for the most part, were in the mid-40s. One of them was like 55, but for the most part, my team was in the mid-40s. And when I got to the new areas, oh my god, wild Pokemon were in the 50s, casually. And the trainers had Pokemon that were level like 65, some of them had level 70. But uh, the after game's really cool too, because certain events can happen that uh, a lot of people who like the older games will like, and I'm not going to give away too much. But uh, yeah, just a lot of cool shit happens when you get to the after game. And, uh, I'm kind of... I'm not really running out of time here, but I'm already going past 11 minutes. So, I may as well kind of wrap this up. So, I, if you actually paid attention to this whole thing, you know, while I was rambling, which this essentially is what that is. I'm rambling here. But I'm going to say this right now. I definitely recommend that you get the game. And I know this is kind of late, considering the game came out in March. But some people did kind of want to know what my opinion is on it. And, uh, so, yeah. I, f I definitely recommend getting the game, black or white, it makes no difference. Or, if you want to wait until a third version comes out, which, because we all know there will be, I would recommend that, too. But, honestly, I think they did a good job with this one. They put a lot of nice effort into it. And, uh, yeah. Oh! One thing I forgot to talk about was the gyms! I forgot to talk about the gyms. The puzzles are really intuitive. And I'm not going to give away too much, but you actually have to think for some of these. It's not just basic shit. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah, puzzles are intuitive, but whatever. I'm running out of time here. So, definitely get the game. I like it. This isn't really a full review because of the fact that I just beat the game for the first time yesterday. And not to mention that I couldn't get footage of this game without stealing footage from other people. So, yeah. <laughs> and I really don't feel like doing that. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. And just, um, yeah, if you, you know, liked Pokemon games before, and you haven't played the new one yet, I totally recommend it. And the fact that this game has its own Pokemon, you know, for the main game, you can get used to the new Pokemon, and it works out really well. So, I guess I can wrap this up, even though I said that about five times already. So, yeah, whatever. Until next time, take care. Definitely recommend Pokemon Black or White. I totally recommend a pickup, and I'm going to end this now before I keep going any further. So, take care.